can obviously score the basketball. And he's averaging 16 on the season, but also 18.1 in conference games. And what makes them go? Seeing exactly what you're saying, the pressure from UNCW. So far, they haven't let up yet. Ron Curry will set the fence down as he hits the tray. It's his 43rd tray this year, shooting almost 38%. Comes out, it's controlled by the Seahawks. Kicking back out again, baseline, or excuse me, wow. jumper from the right side. Bryce and the follow-up and the slam. That one nailed down by Flemings. His yeah, last time UNCW was here, uh, Sherwood actually scored seven points when they won. Paulius Schottkus is not big on shooting the tray, but he does so there. That's his third of the year. He's got five so far. Allen Bear against Geddes. And he'll score it. They're a 52 goal shooter. Zone, it appears. Three pointer is good, and that one dropped in oh. by Denzel Ingram. Shooting almost 40 seconds on the clock. Curry behind the back dribble and count it and one. Curry has six, and the foul on Ponder is his first. Well, the Seahawks, they have yet to turn the basketball over. The Dukes, only three. Slick move by C.J. Bryce to pick up his first field goal of the afternoon, of the evening. Back to a through this stretch of games, through 21 games since 81-82 when the Dukes we're 17 and four, and a rebound, and then a foul after floaters well hard. Last, here comes Curry. Curry all the way down the floor, and he will lay it up and in. That makes 10 points for Ron Curry, and that is his 14th straight game with double. Turn around, short. Jump. I shouldn't say jumper. He just <laughs> He's already taller than everyone else. Partially blocked by Badanovich. I think he got a piece of it. Here's Curry. Curry all the way. The three-pointer off the iron. No good. It would have counted had it gone through. Well, the Dukes will run up the ramp. See, right wing, three-pointer off the iron. No good. Tracks down his own rebound. Gets it up to Badanovich. Badanovich off the glass. His first bucket of the night. The Dukes are within three. Underneath the screen, another screen and a switch out to the left side. Fadeaway three is good. Nice looking shot as it is buried from the corner by Denzel Ingram. Dukes. Largest lead for UNCW so far. Well, nice little wraparound pass. Good bouncer inside to Ogden. Out ball tapped out back to Kent again. And Kent high off the glass, circles the cup and tumbles home. Finally makes his first field goal of the game. Yeah, shot the ball game. He leads all in that category. Curry, jumper for two. It's Curry for 17 now. Just passing his, his average of 15.5 points per game. And the Dukes are within five. Closest they have been since the start of the second half. Uh, it's mostly just been Ron Curry. <laughs> Very true. Tally gets in for another easy layup. of 29, 62.1%. Hangs in the air. Hangs with the ball at 14. Back to nine. And instead, a three-point try by Ponder. Agbodo, he'll go up and in as he fights it away. Big bucket right there. Agbodo had nine. Devontae Morgan tries a three. He hits it. That's his first three game. First, <laughs> the way the Dukes have shot the ball tonight. Shot this with the steal. is now with 13 points. Fleming's misses the one and, and one. And a turnover right away and putting back up and in. The Bucks with another opportunity. They have had their opportunities. Devontae Morgan capitalizes on an opportunity. 
Five points now for Devontae. Minute. Morgan. And a block and one. Another and one. Another opportunity for a three-point play for Devontae Morgan. Have been here at the Convocation Center. That's the most disappointing thing about it. But UNCW comes in, plays its game, is very scrappy. Jumps out to the 8-0 lead.